Hello! It's been a long time. This is, um, unfortunately, you're going to get a view from the bathroom this time. Um, so, I, it's been about four months since I did my last video. Um, I have, a lot's been happening since then. Let's see if I can prop this up any better. Probably can't. Uh, how's that? Yes, so. <clears throat> So, lots has been happening since the last time I did a video, um, and uh, I have been, I went in for the, I'd just come out of the liver op, hadn't I, and um, had some brilliant news from that, um, and I was just going in to have um, the final, well, not the final piece, but I was just about to go in to have a, a big bowel operation um, to remove the rest of the tumour that had been shrunk by the radiotherapy. Um, and to have an ileostomy created. Um, this is it under here. Um, I am feel terrible because I should have done many videos leading up to this. I'm actually having the reversal tomorrow. I can't believe it. So I, this is my last opportunity to do the video, so I thought I'd just do it. Um, I've, <clears throat> I recovered quite well from it and I got used to wearing the um, ileostomy. Um, <clears throat> And I was able to get on with my life quite nicely with it. Um, for those of you that are, are unaware, um, I had the ileostomy created um, to bypass um, so I don't have to um, defecate out of my anus. Um, instead, it comes out of a bag. There are two types of bags you can have. You can have a an ileostomy or a colonos colonos. Oh, my God colonostomy something like that i feel bad i should know the other one but basically if you have it from if you have the stoma created by the colon then you have to keep changing your uh, for what i can gather you have to change your entire bag every time because the stools are more solid um, the further down uh, further near the rectum it goes so in the colon that's nearer the rectum and the fluid uh, would have water been taken out, the moisture would have been taken out, and you've got more of a solid stool. I had an a, um, ileostomy created, so it came from my ileum, um, and it, that's in the part of the small bowel, so the first part of the bowel, and um, at that stage, the fluid hasn't been removed. So this is a bag where you have to drain it um, several times a day, overnight, Um, and um, and yes, and you have to drain it. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And you have to, I was changing my bag on average um, every other day. Um, that's that's when that's how I, I I felt very comfortable doing that. I think in the really hot, sweaty months, the weeks that we had, um, I, I sometimes did change that um, on a daily basis. Um, the bag I'm just about to show you was the bag I used, um, generally speaking, for the majority um, majority of the couple of months that I've had. But I did um, get a tiny, a small black bag. Let me just grab you uh, an example. Um, I had a much smaller black bag, um, which I'll show you in a minute. And that was brilliant for, I was where I wore to give me the confidence to, um, I wore a black bikini and I was able to go to the beach. Um, and I had this black bag and no one really, it just didn't look as obvious and it looked like it was part of my outfit really. Um, and I went to a spa with that and I went on the beach with that. Um, the bag I have here is what I wore, just generally speaking under clothes and where people couldn't really see. Um, other than my partner, he, he could see. Um, <clears throat> and, um, and my daughter and, to be perfectly honest, anyone that did see it was was perfectly fine with it, and it was good. Um, I might just add, I'm wearing Bellis Hope T-shirt. This was bought for me by my sister-in-law. Thank you very much. We all we all wore them. I wore it when I was um, it, just not long after the this op. I um, went and did a race for life. Um, I didn't run it, uh, but I, I walked it, which was a, it was a good start for me. Um, and I just wanted to, um, I'm wearing this out of a sign of respect for 
for Dame Deborah James. Um, I just, you know, all credit to you, um, to De to Deborah and and her family. Um, I followed you the whole the whole of my journey so far, and you were you've been my inspiration, and you've helped me get through this. So, um, I'm wearing this out of a sign of respect for you, but out of also because it's um it's very dear to my heart what what you know i'm going through not the same journey but a, a similar kind of journey um and it's not easy um it's definitely each step along the way has changed me irreversibly um certainly physically um and i think i think it might have done the world of good for me mentally too um so there you go now so this is to you deborah as well okay so thank you thank you for everything you you've done for all of us that have um that have been uh, along a similar journey to you right i shall show you the bag um um so uh, without i don't want to be too revealing but it's worth showing you the bag so i'm going to roll up my top and right so this is the bag as it stands um let's put that down there now okay excuse the belly so this one i've named bagatha christie i've got some really good names for them so the the bag is um i can't show you the actual stone at the moment because i'm not going to change it on camera um i don't i think there's enough videos of those out there um and if i was to have this long term I would definitely go down the road of doing those videos, but for the sake of this, I don't need to. So I've got a nice big scar here from my bowel up. Um, and this is the main bag that I was using on a daily basis. Not a problem. And this is going to be reversed tomorrow, and I will probably have a nice big um, scar here for, from when I've had the reversal. Um, it's not caused me any... Um, major problems i've been able to eat quite a lot um I, i've been able to eat they they initially i was on an awful um uh, terrible diet uh which they recommend uh, low fiber and I, I felt like i'd gone back to my childhood it was all the things that i would have liked when i was younger um not so much stuff that i'd like now so it was a just low fiber um I wasn't allowed, I was allowed white bread, but I wasn't allowed um, fruit with skins on it, um, salad, seeds, you know, all the good stuff. Um, although, to be fair, after a couple of months, I got a little bit annoyed. And so I just started introducing things gradually and it, I didn't have any problems. But, you know, you've all got to do your own thing there because everyone's different. Um, I've been very, very lucky. I've been able to, since having this in the last four months, recovering from the bowel lock just before the reversal, I've been able to go and see Alan Partridge at the O2, um, O2 Arena. I um, have been to a, f a fabulous family wedding where we all dressed up very nicely. Um, so I was able to do that. I was able to go on the beach a couple of times, go to a Nirvana spa, which is a very nice plush spa um, in my neck of the woods. Um, and I've been able to go out to restaurants and go to parties and you name it. I've been able to do everything within reason, obviously, if having to take COVID tests, etc. But um, within reason, I've been able to really get on with my life. I even did some temp work for the last two months um because i needed some money <laughs> and i thought it was a good you know i felt absolutely fine which makes me very nervous about tomorrow because i feel absolutely wonderful right now i feel better than i did before this whole cancer journey and um the hair's growing back can you see it's not quite there yet but it is growing it's getting there not not as long as it was when i first started this journey but it's it's getting there i think it's thicker than it was before more of it so it's all good um yes what was i saying i can't remember now um but anyway all's good i'm i nervous about tomorrow because again my life is going to change uh um and i'm going to be 
different physically again than I am now and um, what I was before this whole thing began. Um, so yes, it's nerve wracking, but this could potentially be the end of my journey. And another thing I haven't told you, which is very good news. So after they um, did this bowel rock and they took everything out and they created this ileostomy, they told me that they got rid of all the cancer. And um, I didn't sort of believe them at first, but then they, they all the tests that they, um, all the letters, everything said zero out of this and zero out of that. So like, according to them, there's just no cancer in me which is just crazy when you think of the journey I've actually been on in the last year. So two weeks before Christmas, I was told there's nothing we can do. We're not going to offer you surgery. We're going to offer you palliative care. You're not going to make it to next Christmas, probably. And I didn't think I'd make my cousin's wedding, which was last week, weekend. And um, not only did I make my cousin's wedding, but I made it feeling wonderful. And it was so good to see everyone looking so happy and well. And, um, but me and my sister-in-law, my, my family, we just didn't think that would be the case. I thought I would, I would, I would be part of the speeches that said, sorry for the people that couldn't be here, or I would be in a palliative care state, or I'd be wheeled there with tubes out, or I might be bald or any of these things. Instead, I was like dancing the night away, having a great time. So, you know, I, I've just been so lucky I've had so much support and um and I've just been able to get on with it thanks to everyone's help um so yeah from tomorrow onwards there will be um no more ileostomy for me and it will be um getting used to a new way of uh going to the toilet and hoping that it doesn't become the biggest bane of my life um sure if it does um you know if it goes really bad i can always have the ileostomy put back in um i just wanted to show those people out there this this the one i had um this one was a i think they called it a well end uh one and it had manuka honey so it was really good for um for me for skin and and healing it up so that was good on a daily basis. This one was a salt bag, but it's half the size. And as you can see, you can't see inside this one because it's black covering. So when these ones get wet, you can they, it, there's an outline of the feces, which is not great if you're going to the sea. It's fine when you're around here and you have a bath and you get it changed and all the rest of it. But if you're in, out at the beach, you wouldn't want people to see that. These are great um, and they're much smaller and they work brilliantly with the, I found with the salt water and the sand, they stayed on and you couldn't see what was going on. I felt very confident with these. So I'm just letting you know, this is my recommendation for a smaller bag, but you have to find what fits you and what bag fits you. The nurses are brilliant and they will help you every step of the way. Um, so all that's to say is, oh, I'm very nervous about tomorrow, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Um, the medical profession know what they're doing. I trust my surgeon um, and I know the nurses will do the very best they can to look after me afterwards. And I have all the support around me, so fingers crossed. And I will do another video afterwards because I think actually because I haven't had, I wanted to dwell more on the ileostomy and everything, but I think because I'm only, I've only had it for three to four months, I don't feel I have the right to go uh, to, on too much about that because I haven't had it as long as what some people would have. Um, and I haven't been told I'm going to have it for life, etc. I mean, that may all change in the future. Fingers crossed it won't, but it could do. So, but I feel like that is um, for someone else to, discuss I'm, I'm more than happy to answer questions um, about my experience etc but I don't feel I have uh, I've only had it for four months so I don't feel like I'm in a position to speak too brilliantly about about these bags etc um, although I've, I've found my experience been quite good you know I've not I know other people that haven't had the confidence um, to go out or do anything um, 
luckily I did have the confidence so I made sure I did go out and I showed the bag off um, the beaches and the spas so that if anyone wanted to ask questions they could or just people get used to it you know generally speaking people will look at you in the street and they'll take one glance and that's it it's very rare that someone will look and then look at something and then keep staring you know and if they do that's their problem you know so I don't I didn't worry too much about it but I appreciate that it can be um you know very daunting for people um i don't find you know i don't think it's the most attractive thing on the planet but um if you've got the right partner by your side then it shouldn't be a problem um so there you go um i don't know what else to say about this other than i will explain um more when i've had this next stop i probably won't look as well for a while so you know this is this is as good as I'm going to look for a while, I think, which isn't the best, but it's it's better than it was. Um, and I'm sure I'll recover from this next one quite quickly. Um, and yeah, thanks for listening. Take care. Bye. Be good to one another.